Keep on going, you just gotta fight it Keep on going cause it's not too late You can't back down You can't back down So this is my friend, Andrea. Um, Andrea, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, okay, I'm 38. I'm married to my husband. We've been married almost 15 years. We have a 14-year-old son and an 11-year-old daughter. Um, we live in Nebraska, born and raised here. And right now I work in a nursing home as a nurse aide and med aide. Uh, a little background I guess about my transformation and my my journey toward health I guess would the condensed version would be that I've been at both ends of the spectrum I've been overweight I've been underweight uh, at my heaviest I got to be 205 pounds and I took up running fell in love with distance running and dropped to 105 pounds joined lady boss I did beach body and I um, have maintained my weight like right now I weigh 150 and I'm sitting at a comfortable weight for the first time in my life that um, I actually wanted to gain some of the weight weight back that I had lost through all the running that I did um, some of the challenge overcome through the whole journey I would say is probably learning to love myself and my challenges. Um, I've faced quite a few bullies lifetime that have of Lady Boss and uh, even some friends that I met when I was doing Beach Body. Uh, I found that fitness and and just that atmosphere really helped to get me back on track and to know that I wasn't alone in my journey and there have been a lot of challenges for me like throughout my marriage um, my husband is a recovering alcoholic and we have had life together <laughs> he is actually a recovering alcoholic and has been doing and says that it's basically saved his life also he is currently actually as we speak he's in Kansas at a, a competition with some of his friends and so I don't know I guess that's basically it in a nutshell I've been my biggest thing for me is probably learning to love myself and just take it one day at a time and know that there's gonna there will be highs and lows and some days are going to be awesome and others not so awesome I fell into a really dark dark place in my life two years ago before I was introduced to lady boss and uh, was honestly contemplating ending my life to get away from some of that and so it's been a huge awakening I guess just the whole process and being able to talk to other women and know that that you're never alone no matter what your struggles are there's always somebody that you can share with and you guys can help each other through tough times um, I guess that's really really it <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. You've got a lot going on there with your yeah. story. You know, it's it's very unique because, you know, you lost a lot of weight and then you're like, whoa, <laughs> I want to gain some weight because I want to be strong. So it's not just about right. being skinny, but being strong. And um, I've watched you through a lot of um, what you've gone through um, emotionally. And you're one of my strongest friends I know. So I love you. <laughs> love you too. A lot of people love you. Um, tell us more about um, 
so you're you're a nurse now. What I really love about you know watching you grow is how you felt like you know what you were doing before wasn't enough, and you felt like you were made for more. Um, talk about how you you know got to that point where you felt like you were made for more. Um, I guess the biggest thing for me is up until the last couple of years, you know, I've had kind of a chip on my shoulder because of the bullying that I dealt with growing up and a very strict mom and the things going on in my marriage and dealing with the alcoholism and the, the verbal abuse that came from my mother. And then, you know, what my husband and I went through, um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I got to a point where, you know, when I found Lady Boss, it helped me to just not be so hard on myself because I had kind of, I had had bullies in my life, but come to find out I was the biggest one to myself. Like I was always putting myself down and, oh, you can't do this and you'll never amount to anything, you know, and you just replay everything in your head that people have said to you. And, um, like I, I did daycare for 10 years and then I, I was, a, I worked in nursing for 10 years before that. And then I worked at the school and then I quit that because it wasn't, it just wasn't active enough for me. And I felt like I, I needed to be moving. You know, I was into fitness now and I, I can't just sit in a classroom all day. I've got to be, I've got to be moving. So I left that job that I had for almost five years, went to PetSmart, was there for four months and discovered that the retail world was definitely not for me. Um, I found that, you know, I just have a history of wanting to encourage people and to help people. And so that's why I got back into nursing. And a lot of that, I felt like I was given power to believe in myself that I was made for more than what I was doing because other women were behind me and supporting me and telling me, oh, you're too hard on yourself, you know, and, you know, just trying to, I found that trying to encourage other people also, and watching them, like, share their journeys, it just makes a person feel less, less isolated and alone, so then it gave me strength to pursue bigger and better things, and, and like you said, I, uh, I had lost a lot of weight, and I, in the process, I kind of, I lost myself too. So finding, being a part of the community and making new friends, it kind of, it just helped me get stronger from the inside also. Yeah, definitely. So cool. So cool. I, <laughs> I, love, I love how you've grown into like, you know, you went from a job that you felt like wasn't, you know, wasn't good enough where you had to, you know, sit around a lot. So you searched for more and then you tried something else terrifying mm -hmm. and you were terrified to do it. And you weren't too scared to say, you know what, this isn't going to work out. I'm going to do this, what I have to do to, you know, do what I want to do. You seem right. to be really blending in with it really well. So it's good to not give up on, you know, what you, what you want to do and be more. I just remember hearing you say that to me that, you know, I'm made for more and this is what I want to do. And you mm -hmm. fought for it. And, you know, what you were like before, um, like with your mindset and that, what, what made you decide to lose that weight? And start um, well, I've been on my journey about eight years now. And I think the breaking point for me was um, in a dressing room. I, I tried a dress on that I needed for my uh, event that every year my husband has a work meeting and we have to wear a formal. And I went to try to find a beautiful dress for that and ended up getting stuck in it in the dressing room. And as I was taking it off, I, I ripped it. And that for me was the huge breaking point. We're like, you've got to do something. And I was just, basically I was sick and tired of, being sick and tired all the time. I didn't have energy for my kids. I, I was not a very, I wasn't an outgoing person at all. I didn't want to be around other people because I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with myself. I was really insecure in basically everything that I did. 
So I decided that I wanted to to lose weight and it started with walking as far as my legs would carry me and then a friend challenged me to sign up for a race and I just kind of fell in love with running after that and then it got to a point where like oh, okay Andrew you're getting a little obsessive about this and you've lost the weight but now you kind of you need to work on balance so that was another big challenge for me is trying to find balance of you know I'm a wife I'm a mom I'm expected to work full time and then take care of myself and that's just a a juggling act and but through that too is where I I really learned grace too and you know that it's it, you're not going to be able to do do it all every single day you know and you've just got to be proud of yourself for what you do accomplish and a little bit added up to a lot for me you know like I started with doing squats in the kitchen when I was cooking supper and like tricep dips off the couch when we were sitting down as a family, you know, just little things like that. And I mean, it all adds up more than people think. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, you decided that you wanted to be strong rather than just, you know, lose all that weight. So you joined Lady Boss to mm -hmm. actually gain weight. Um, talk about, you know, why you did that. Um, I was actually introduced to Lady Boss from one of my friends who lives here in town. Um, I knew her through a previous nursing home that we worked at together. And um, I jumped in as a lifer and I loved the app. I loved that everything was laid out for me. Um, I wanted to gain some weight back and get some muscle, but at the same time, a huge focus for me was my nutrition. I felt like I you know, I was active, but in a way I was kind of working against myself because I wasn't eating the right foods and it just learning how to, how to eat and create meals that really helped. It helped and helped improve our, our family, family's health too. We went from eating hamburger helper and boxed meals, processed food every night, um, to now healthier foods and so yeah, I guess I I just love the guidance of the group and how everything was laid out and yeah. Yeah. So you have become a strong woman. I love you. And that you're such a good mom. Um so you've you've made a balance for your, for not just your family. Do you feel like when you do meals, do they like fight fight on you with eating more healthy foods? Are they more expensive? Where do you feel about all of that? Um, it was kind of a struggle in the beginning just because my daughter's a pretty finicky eater. My son's older and he was a little more open to it, but it got to the point where, you know, all you can do is continue to keep offering it and buy less junk for the house and offer healthy alternatives. And eventually they just kind of fall, fall into it. I mean, they're a lot more receptive to it now than they were when I first started that's for sure. And I loved that the uh, learning to meal plan and prep was huge. That helped our finances also. I wasn't just walking through the store and aimlessly throwing crap in the cart. And so, yeah, it's just been just a learning experience all the way around. And I feel like it's helped my family because, um, you know, my husband said he decided to take control of his health too. And when he joined CrossFit and then my daughter started wanting to go to class. So like they say, when you lead by example, you have the potential to change your entire family tree. You know, now my son is a label reader. He'll go in the store and he'll want to find healthy stuff. And I just think all of that, it adds up to them getting older and making healthier choices too. Yeah. Yeah, because they're watching you. <laughs> right. I don't have any kids, but I imagine that's like, that's that's a huge pressure because you not only have to be good for yourself, but you know, good for your kids too. So mm -hmm. that's so cool that they're actually watching and learning from you and your dad and, and your husband. And then right. you're talking about how your husband is kind of taking charge of himself and that you know he's kind of stepping into you know working on the alcohol and everything, and you know working with the CrossFit. Um, you said he's in a competition now? Yeah, he's down in Kansas. They had some, I don't even know the name of it, but he went with a couple of his gym buddies down there. So that's yeah. cool. 
That's cool. So I think that, you know, when you started really, you know, getting to exciting, I'm going to do this program because I want to be strong. He's watching that and he, he must admire you if he's, you know, now getting into, you know, making better choices for himself and, you know, you have to be proud of that and right. really you and your choices to, you know, want to be strong rather than just skinny, but, you know, strong. It's more of a, what's going on inside and in, in your heart. Mm -hmm. um, when you are suffering with, with all of that, um, what you were like before and that you were shy and you know, everything that was going on, there are so many women that are just like you. What do you have to say to, to women that were in your shoes, you know, before, before, the weight lo before the weight loss and then when you decided to, you know, get strong? So just like a wide range of women that you want to talk to right now. Um, I would say the biggest thing that helped me is um, journaling every day, setting those micro goals and positive affirmations. And it's, it's really true what they say that, you know, sometimes you have to fake it till you make it, you know, look in the mirror and say three nice things about yourself every morning, point out what you love about yourself. And eventually that takes over and it, pushes away what you don't like about yourself you know what you focus on grows so I think that journaling helped me because um, like I would write affirmations and intentions and my micro goals and I think that 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 really helps because uh, it just gives me the focus for the day and um, so I guess if if I could tell them anything, it would be just to, just to focus on the positive things about yourself, focus on what you love about yourself, because, um, you know, you have to love yourself before anybody else can love you. Because before I started on my journey, I was a very withdrawn person, just simply because I didn't like myself. I didn't like my appearance. You know, I knew I was a good person and I, it just, there's something in about growing comfortable in your own skin. It just transcends into every aspect of your life. You know, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not going to say I'm not shy anymore, but I'm a lot better than I used to be. Yeah. Like, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I used to get really intimidated by other women who I thought were better than me or I would say oh she just thinks she's better than everybody you know when in reality I was the one that was comparing myself to her she wasn't doing anything to me you know and so I think that just learning to look at other people as motivation and not competition you know the only person that you're really competing with is who you were yesterday oh yeah so that was a huge turning point for me is just knowing that um, what do they say? You, you thought that the world was against you, but it turns out it was you against yourself. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. And Sinatra loves me, loves you. He is <laughs> usually hanging out around me when I'm doing these interviews, but he's never like wanted to, you know, uh -oh. come up and like get pet. When <laughs> <laughs> he knows there's a pet lover in the house. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, those are really good advice. Um, yeah, it's just been amazing watching you, you know, grow into such a strong person and you're always growing and I'm just so happy for your new career and you are strong and we're always just fighting the fight. Um, do you have anything for the women that are trying to maintain it? Cause you've been doing this for eight years. Right. Um, I'd say the biggest thing is there's going to be days when you want to give up. Like I still, I've made huge progress, but, um, I struggled before with wanting to be perfect. And that was a big thing for me. And I think that, um, just knowing that every day is a learning process or it's a lifelong journey. Yeah. You're always learning. You're always growing there's always somebody that's going to be faster or stronger or more fit. And you've just got to stop comparing yourself to those people because 
once I stopped doing that, it just, it totally changed everything. You know, it's like I'm in my own little zone now where, you know, I, I feel like I can be happy for other people. Um, and I don't see them as intimidating like I used to, you know, it's just, just a day by day thing. Like some days I'll, I'll fall into a real funk and then the next day I'm, I'm better. It's just, it's life. You know, you're not always going to have good days and there's still goals that I fight for, but it's like aesthetic goals, you know, like, Oh, I wish this part of my body was firmer. And I feel like I've been working on them, working on certain areas for years, you know, but you just got to, if you look back, I guess, just look at how far you've come. Yeah. So. For sure. Yeah, you got to keep looking at the, the journey because that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, and a friend of, of mine and I were just chatting about what we looked like last year and that we need to, you know, I'm not upset with what I look like now, but I can see, you know, oh, it's starting to trail back this way. So let's bring it back to where it was. What was I doing mm -hmm. then? just you know working on the good things and trying to block out the bad things right oh I just love you <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything else that you'd want to bring up or any last words um uh, not that I can think of I guess just keep going never give up because it's a it's up and down. It really is. I mean, especially like I battled food addiction and addiction to sweets. And there's certain things that are just always going to be demons there, you know, that you've got to fight. And, you know, you just, every single day you can start over. So. Yeah. It's a good way to look at it. It's always, <laughs> always a new day. Yep. Well, I love you and thank you for doing this interview with me. Love you, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Hope to do it again soon. Sounds good.